Com check. One four's up. Log one three copies. Big cows keep aboard that he loud and clear. Don't take reverse hard left reverse. Watch it. Let's go. Let's go. It's a tiger. Let's get out of here, Don. David was set on getting an actual tiger into the movie, which has never been done on film before. There's only one running tiger in the world, and it lives in the Bobbington Tank Museum in southern England. Tiger 131 is a very important tank. It's the first tank actually captured by the Allies in the West. This is a bit of a historical moment. I mean, it's an honor to have it here. It's a special asset to be able to photograph. From our point of view at the museum, we wanted to make sure that it was going to be involved in a movie that uh, would do it justice. Its size and the power that it had, it really comes through on screen. Don't stop for anything. All we got is you. Ain't supposed to be no more tigers. Tell my platoon that. We're on our own. What is your plan? We ain't never run before. Why are we gonna run now? We're gonna fight it out. Probably the tank was something that the US military wasn't prepared to encounter. The thing about the Sherman and the Tiger, it's a bit of a mismatch. The Tiger tank was far better designed, far better protected. The Sherman tank was a vulnerable piece of tin. The attrition rate for tankers in the U.S. Army at that time was massive, massive. I mean, it would take four or five Shermans to take down a Tiger. The third Armor Division had a 90% loss rate of tanks. It ultimately required 50,000 Shermans to wipe out 1,500 Tigers. It's kind of the monster in our movie and is part of a critical sequence at the end of the movie. God damn it! It's the ultimate tank of the war. The Tiger tank is a one-of-a-kind tank, and we're really proud that it's in the movie. Title steady!